All right, we took the uh, the temporary AP that we had up there. Now we got the uh, the new AP way on up there. About 25, 26 feet. Still got to uh, take all this here and relocate it here on the tree and just make everything right here I may put a piece of plywood maybe on the back side back over on this side and have the box I'll go ahead and take this down because this don't need to be up here anymore it's not receiving it actually it's not even plugged in get that out of here too all right today i plan on taking this and all the equipment on this pole and actually relocate it on the tree and try to move it without have to turn anything off then i got to take the uh the nano switch here and mount it up so I can take a new radio, which I'm replacing this one with the same configuration and put it up actually up on a pole that's up there. And have everything mounted pretty much right here. And don't have to squat down or anything, just stand here and work on it. So let's see how this works. Okay. We got the nano switch moved. Got the uh, access point there. Put a different one, same credentials so everything would connect. And then I got one all the way up there for all the RVs. And now it's time to just take this wire and tack it to the tree. And still got to get down there and mount that box. It's just temporary right now. And get that uh, power cord that's feeding it kind of in a place where it'd be easy to walk through without getting tangled up on the feet haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet it's not I can't bury it because it's not made for it and I can't cut the end off of it to sleeve it unless I put a new end on it we'll see what we can do but right now everybody's back online Everything should be good. I may come back and replace these bolts. They're not as thick as I like for them to be, so I'll probably get some beefy ones and actually replace these, all four of them. So be sure it's gonna hold up on this tree in case the wind blows or anything like that. So let's get this uh, wire tacked and uh, then get down there and work on that box. Okay, we got everything in the box tight fit you have to really maneuver things to get it all to work but she's in there now we'll close it up and lock it up then work on this cord what we can do with it let's see if we can get this closed and locked okay we got the uh, fiber come down we got it strapped off here with the uh, wire that's in it that holds it got it strapped here and i got a hook up there i didn't want to pull it too too tight here because if this tree grows which most likely it's still going to grow i don't want it to be pulled tight so i left some slack in it but i put a strap here to keep it from just flapping in the wind it's got a good bit of uh slack in it i mean it can tree can go good four inches before this even gets tight and if it does I got all this here to uh, take a loop out of it and make up for it but we got the uh, power cord down there and strapped off and ran over here got the uh, ethernet wire that feeds the nano switch strapped off 
going up. Then the switch on the bottom of the pole. First access there. Right there. It's basically for his cameras in the park. And then I got AP up there for all the RVs. Get it off there. And get all, got it all up on the tree. Got it off of here. Now we got to take this pole and dig it up. And take this pole and go over there and install another client. But she should be ready to go. And I measured the uh, fiber that I got running across the road over there and it's 16, a little bit over 16 feet. And I figured that should be a high enough because bridges, overpasses and all, it's 14 and up. So 16 should be more than enough. Only ones that'll come close to is ones like that one, maybe that one. But there's not really many more in here, but RVs Class A, I think it is, that I looked up and it was says 13 and a half feet tall. And then you got the air condition. Some say that's including air condition. Some say it's not including air condition, but even if it's not, they're not but like 12, 18 inches tall, so we should be good. Now let's get over here and get that one installed and get out of here.